What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So right at the top of the video, I wanna answer some commonly asked questions. First things first, what you see here recording this screencast is FFmpeg. The distribution of Linux I'm currently using is Ubuntu 12.04 long-term support release. And of course, I'm using GNOME Shell. Now this is actually a custom installation of an Ubuntu GNOME Remix where I've removed all of Unity and I'm running straight GNOME on top of Ubuntu. If you'd like to find out how to do that, I actually just made a video covering that topic. So you can go to my recently uploaded videos and check out on how to do that. So today's video is going to be covering a very popular topic and that is how I record my screencasts. So basically how I record these screencasts is very simple. I use a, a library called FFmpeg. It is the most consistent, um, highest quality way I've found to record my desktop here in Linux. There's a lot of other choices out there. For instance, you have things like Record My Desktop, which worked really well for me in Ubuntu 10.04, but since 10.04, it has worked terribly. The video and audio is commonly out of sync. A lot of bugs uh, in that particular package just don't even want to mess with it. Um, then there was also Kazam that I was using for a while. Once again, I found that it would be very inconsistent. Um, very Some videos, it would record very well. Video and audio would be you know, in sync. Half the time, you, know, you get a couple minutes into the video and all of a sudden the audio falls out of sync with the video. It was just very, very inconsistent. So all the GUI applications that you know, were available or are available, I just haven't messed with them because FFmpeg has always been so consistent that, you know, honestly, it's it's been a pleasure to use. And, you know, if you're a geek like me, you like to uh, compile code and and uh, play around with the terminal. So it's just more fun for me to use this FFmpeg. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Now, normally, when I install FFmpeg, I do so from the latest iteration of FFmpeg from source, which I usually get from GitHub. So <clears throat> to accomplish what you see going on over here, if you come to my blog now, if you check the video description um, below, you'll see a link to my blog. Usually if I make a video, if it has to do with any type of uh, terminal commands, I will make a step-by-step -step instructional uh, write up and put it as a blog post so you guys can just copy and paste right out of the blog. Now, this is very, very simple to do. So, all you've got to do here is follow these instructions. Again, I'll put a link in the video, video description below. Install some packages, and then we're going to be cloning x264, libvpx, and ffmpeg's GitHub to get the very latest iterations of, of these particular libraries. So, it's very, very simple. Literally copy and paste these things one at a time into your terminal and just hit enter. Now, compilation time is going to depend on your hardware that you're running. And uh, so, you know, give it a little time. Uh, X264 and libvpx actually compile very quickly. FFmpeg may take you a little while, um, but, you know, just be patient. Copy and paste everything I have right here into your terminal, and that will bring down the latest code for all of these from github and then it will also compile and then install them for you on your system now i will say this you could technically keep the source code for all three of these on your on your system every once in a while you could um, you know check uh, github for any latest uh, addition to that code and then recompile and install more updated versions i will say this however if the iteration that you install is working fine I wouldn't mess with it you know honestly it uh, it's not worth it if, unless they add some type of new feature or what have you but for all intents and purposes as of today which is Sunday October 28th the particular versions of all three of these work flawlessly for me and I also use this FFmpeg to extract audio out of video files which again I've done a video on so if you're interested in that check my recently uploaded videos so once these are installed at that point, you can do a couple of different things. <clears throat> you can uh, get the bit of code, and I'll show you what that looks like. We are going to copy this into my home directory. So this is what the code looks like for my screencast, okay? 
Now you'll notice right in this section right here, this is where your screen resolution goes. So all you've got to change in this whole thing right here is your screen resolution. So mine's 1920 by 1080. I've got a 27 inch LED monitor. That's my resolution. Um, so all you've got to do is input your resolution right here. Okay, leave the rest of this the exact same. All right, now you can do one of two things. You can simply copy and then paste this into a terminal window and hit enter. Okay, so if you want to record your, your desktop, then you're going to want to make sure that uh, you just copy and paste that, hit enter, and it'll run. Or if you don't want to have to bother copy and pasting that um, every time, you know, you can put this into a text file, which I probably could have just kept gedit open. All right, and then you're just going to want to save it as whatever you want. We'll call it screencast. All right, I may even put a link to download this in the video description rather than you guys having to go through these steps, but we'll call it screencast. We'll save it in my home directory. All right, so now if we come into my home directory, we see this right here, screencast. We wanna make this executable. We'll do so by executing sudo chmod plus x. The plus x means um, you're making it executable. This chmod is change mode. And then we want to just do the name of the file. So screencast, hit enter, supply your password. And now this is executable. So if I were to double click on this, it's going to want ask me if I want to run this, OK? Because it's now an executable. So what we want to do to be able to call this executable from whatever path that we're in, we want to move it to our user bin directory. You do so by executing sudo mv for move, the name of your file, forward slash usr, forward slash bin, forward slash, then hit enter. I'm not going to do that because I actually already have it in there, um, but that will move it into user bin. So then how do you run it? All you've got to do is go open, open up your terminal, terminal, and then uh, type in the word screencast, hit enter, and it'll immediately start recording your screen as well as your audio. Now, once this is running, as you can see, it is up here. To stop the recording, you simply click within the terminal uh, window here and then hit the letter Q on your keyboard. That will end the recording. Now, I also thought I'd show you guys what I do once I get that recording. Now, <clears throat> this is going to save it into an MKV container. I found that when you're uploading to YouTube with an MKV, it'll upload fine. Most of the time it'll process okay, but then what will end up happening is you'll have no audio on your video or um, you'll have audio um, but no video. So it'll screw it up quite a bit. So generally what I do is I drag this file over here into OpenShot, bring it down here. I don't do a lot of editing on the videos. I may you know do a fade in and fade out slow. And then we'll go up to File, I hit Export. For profile, I choose web. Target, I choose YouTube HD. And then quality is usually high. You come over here to profile. And then I swing down and I select 1080p, 25, uh, 1080, 25p, 1920 by 1080. And then I hit export. What this is going to do is it's going to put it into a MK, uh, MP4 container. All right, in a very high quality. This will um, process. Uh, once it gets uploaded to YouTube very, very quickly, because uh, it's a web compatible format, and then uh, you've got a nice high quality HD video. So that's pretty much my whole process, guys. Um, hopefully that helped. I get that question very, very frequently. Um, this, again, this compilation of FFmpeg and uh, LibVPX and X264 is confirmed to be the proper process on Ubuntu 12.04. I can't guarantee if you're using any other version of Ubuntu that this is going to work. However, again, you will see a link to my blog in the video description below. And you'll also find a download link for the code that I use for uh, my screencasts. So again, you can uh, alter them for your particular screen resolution. And you guys should be up and running with high definition screencasts. So hopefully that helped. If so, guys, it helps me if you give me a like. It helps get my videos a little bit more noticed. If people watch these and they appreciate the content, that's what really keeps me motivated to make them. And your likes tell me that you enjoy the video and the content. So 
again, I appreciate all the support you guys give me. Um, feel free to ask any questions about this in the video description below, and I'll do my best to get back to you guys. So hopefully you, guys, you are all doing well, and until next time, I will see you guys later.